Hello learners, this is Self Tarts and in this video, we will learn about a very important plugin of Vim called the Nerd Tree. Nerd Tree is a file explorer plugin, which means you can explore the files of your project very easily. If you have used Vim, then you must have find an important part missing inside it and that important part is the file explorer, means you can't explore files inside a folder if you are using bare bones vim so to activate this functionality we need to use a plugin which is called nerd tree so the nerd tree can be installed inside our vim by using this plug syntax which if you are using a different plugin manager you can go through their documentation but we are using vim plug so we'll use this plug screw loose nerd tree which means the screw loose user of github has created a repository with the name nerd tree. So we'll try to search this plugin in Waymawesome website. So we'll go to Waymawesome website and we'll open it. Since this is a very famous plugin, so you can see it is listed at the top only. So you can just go inside it and you can see that these are the different uh, Vim plugin managers through which we can download like pathogen, neo bundle, bundle. Since we are using Vim plug, so we are interested in this tab. So this tab says place this in your .vimrc file. This .vimrc file is present in the home folder of our Linux system. So we'll just copy it and we'll go to the home folder. We'll see a pwd and we can see home vagrant is our home folder. Inside our home folder, inside our home folder, we can see the hidden files and one of the hidden file is vimrc. So we'll try to open this file and we'll put this, put the line which we have copied from the website to inside the section call plug begin and call plug end. The, inside this section, the plugin manager searches for the plugins which are downloaded or installed and then injects them inside our Vim. So we'll just try to paste the copied text and it says that this plugin will be used. So currently we are using two plugins, plug for color schemes and plug for nerd tree. So we have just copied it, now we need to install it. So we'll save this file using shift colon write and quit and we will type the Vim command and press enter. Then we'll use the vim plug command called plug install and we'll hit enter. So what it is doing, it says that vim color scheme is already installed. So it has said already installed, but the nerd tree is new plugin that we have, we, we, we are trying to install. So it tried to fetch the data from the GitHub repository. And once the data fetching has been done, it says it has been successfully installed. So we'll try to quit this and we are inside our home folder. We have cleared the screen. Now, how to activate nerd tree? So to activate nerd tree, we have to fire this command colon nerd tree. So we'll go inside our terminal and if you see, do a listing of file, you can see there's a file parse down self dots to do app. So we'll try to use Vim and use the nerd tree file explorer. So we'll just type Vim command and press enter. And to activate it, we have seen we have to write colon nerd tree. So we'll use shift colon nerd nerd and then tree. And you can see that the file explorer has come. We have seen previously that in the folder there were two folders, self touch and to do app and a parse down file. So you can move up and down inside this file explorer using the J and K key, which is same as the simple movement command which have seen J moves you one row down, K moves you one row up, L moves you one character to the right and H moves you one character to the left. So you can use the same key, uh, keyboard buttons which we use in text editing of Vim. So you can just move inside this and to open anything we have to press enter. So suppose we want to see what is inside this folder. Every folder is designated with this sign uh, with this arrow sign and if it is a file then there is no arrow sign 
so this is the folder self touch if you want to open it what is inside it we have to press enter so we see self touch contain a single file and that is readme file if you want to open this to do f file f folder we have to place our cursor on it and press enter so after pressing enter you can see there is a package.json file and inside that packet and inside that to do app there is a folder called node modules folder if you want to see what is inside this node module we have to place our cursor on it and again press enter so you can see this node module folders contain a large number of other folders so you can just move up and down using the j and k keys again to close that folder you have to go over it and press enter and press enter so we have seen that uh, the file exploring process is very simple by using the home keys j k l and h now if you have seen that to activate our vim we have to type nerd tree again and again so this becomes very tedious work so we'll try to map a uh, a uh, shorthand process to activate the nerd tree so it says map my control n key to this command so we'll use this we'll place this command or we'll place this uh, configuration inside our vimrc file and next time we'll just press control n instead of this whole text nerd tree and by just pressing control n it will activate the nerd tree file explorer so we'll go to our uh, vim we'll first close it and we'll open our .vimrc file so we'll open our vimrc file and we'll try to map the key control and so we'll say colon map and then we'll say control c in vim bigger c stands for control and n and then we'll say what to fire the command when we press control n n e r d and then tree so this line says map the control and command to colon nerd tree so we'll write and quit we'll try to save it and this time we'll open vim and just press control n so you can see when pressing control n the bottom of my screen displays nerd tree so i'll press enter and it will show me the nerd tree file explorer so you can see how easy it was to map the key now you must have uh, now we'll see how to switch the cursor so we'll go to our vim and we'll try to open this pass down file now you can see our cursor is inside this section and there is another section here so there are the whole uh, screen is divided at present into two sections one for the file explorer and other for the actual opening of vim file so we'll try to open this pass down file so when we open this pass down file you can see the cursor has come to the right side of our screen but if you want to again go to the file explorer we have to use the command control w so we need to press control w multiple times and it will switch the cursor between the right part of the screen and to the nerdtree file explorer so it is that easy so you can see i have written here by uh, switching the cursor between different part can be done by using uh, uh, can be done by pressing the command or the keyboard uh, uh, buttons control w multiple times so we have again switched to this vim uh and we can see the cursor is inside is present on the right side so we we'll, we have to go to the file explorer so we'll press control w multiple times so it will go there again we have to go to the right side then we'll press control w so now you can see that we can move inside this file by using the j and k keys so to switch our cursor between the open buffer of our editing and to the nerdtree file explorer we have to use control w command now nerdtree also provides a menu through which you can create new file you can move files you can copy files so we'll go to our uh, vim and we'll go to the nerdtree side so we we have pressed control w and it will move to the nerdtree file explorer now suppose i want to create a new file so i don't need to quit my vim and go to the terminal and create a file using or or create a directory using mkdir so at present i'll just create a directory with the name test so 
to open the menu of nut tree i have to press m command m key so i'll press the m key so in the bottom you can see a multiple options have been created like a m d c l a for add a child node m for move the current node d for delete the current node c for copy the current node and l for list the current node so we'll try to add a child child node to this current project structure or to the current uh, file explorer tree so we'll we can again move or select this uh, multiple options by moving through j and k key so suppose i am pressing j i will move down and again pressing k i'll move up so you can remember that always moving up and down inside vim we can use the j and k keys and for moving right we can use l and for moving left you can use h so suppose we want to create add a child node so we'll place our pointer on this particular option and we'll press enter so this will ask to enter a file and it says directories end with a slash sign so if i want to create a directory then suppose i want to create a directory then i have to write test and then this slash sign and I have to press enter so you can see a new directory has been created so without leaving our vim we can easily create new folders now inside this test folder if i want to create a file say test.js so i'll place i'll place my cursor over test and to activate the menu options i will press m key m key so i'll press m and i can again add a new child node and it's i'll move my cursor to the add child node option and i'll press enter and this time i want to create a file so i'll say test.js so you can see the file has been created by but it is not visible at present i'll go to the test i'll press my cursor and press enter and it say that test has been created and you can see the test file so you can explore the other options by your own you can move files you can delete files and you can do uh, so uh, so many things using nutri command menu now one of the most important feature provided by nerd tree is tabs that you can create tabs without closing a open file you can open another file inside a tab so how to open a tab so if you want to open a tab which contains the contents uh, contents of other file then you have to go over that file place your cursor there and press the keyboard button t so suppose i'll go to this section by pressing control w multiple time so we are inside this parsedown.php but without closing this we want to open the test.js file so what i'll do first i'll go to the nerd tree explorer side by pressing control w so i'm inside my nerd tree explorer and on my file test.js i'll press t so upon pressing t you can see this section so here a tab has been created and this is the place where i can edit my test.js file so i will write something that this is suppose i will write console.log because it is a javascript file self tuts so i uh, i have written a simple javascript syntax of console.log i will save it by using shift colon write and write only now since i have created a tab in which i have opened a file test.js now i want to switch between tabs so what i have to do i have to press the keyboard button g and t so first i'll press g and then i'll press t so it will switch the tab so again i want to go to that test.js file so i'll press g and t so it will move me to that file so suppose there is a file inside this self touch it says read me and i also want to open this inside a tab so i'll again press t so now you can see three tabs are there nerd tree one readme.md and test.js if i have to switch between these tabs i have to press g t multiple times so i'll press g t then it will go to the test.js again i press g t it will go to my main nerd tree section and again i press g t it will take me to the readme.md so you can create tab inside nerd tree very easily and you can switch between these tabs by using g by by pressing the keyboard button g and t now i'll just save this file by using shift colon right key i'll again save readme.md by placing shift colon right and q means wq 
Now I'll move to this file parsedown.php by using control W command by moving my cursor from nerd tree instance to the file open instance. I'll again close it and I'll close this nerd tree using quit. So you can see how easy it was to install a nerd tree plugin and explore our directory or project by using the nerd tree explorer. So this was all, this was all about nerd tree file explorer in Vim and how to uh, download that plugin, how to install it, how to create tabs, how to switch between a nerd tree and the open file instance. So you can explore other things about nerd tree by reading their documentation on the github repository. So this was all about nerd tree plugin. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up.